Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is John Hammond and I'm still looking at some of the last of CTF challenges. Uh, challenge I'm on right now is Pixels and it is a, looks like a little steganography or forensics challenge thing. So it looks like uh, we intercepted these messages, image one and image two, but we don't know how they go together. Figure out the hidden message. All right, so let's download these images. It looks like the file name is QR1. So I'm just going to assume we're working with some QR images, some, some QR codes. I have already solved this challenge. I'm just going to go through the demonstration of how I did it. Um, over in here, I do see the code that I've already written, for one thing, and uh, let's look at those QR codes. It looks like QR1 is just all of this junk, which is not that helpful, but if I press the arrow keys to alternate between the two of them, you'll see the pixels shifting, and you can see that it looks like there is a QR code. If I hold down the arrow keys, you can see them really, really, like, rapidly changing. If you look in the corners, you can see these, like, the edges of a QR code being made. So all of the things on the left, right, all the, the whole border is normally white in a regular QR code, right? And then everything else that's not, in this case, you can kind of see it shifting in. Everything that's different is going to be black, right? It looks like we're just trying to take the difference between these two images. So we can probably write some code that does that. In fact, I just did. So let's see how we can do it together. I'm just going to kind of run through the syntax and everything. I'll just write a little get flag script to do this. Hopefully you can follow along. If there is any code, of course, you haven't seen before, I mean, I recommend, recommend do a little bit of research. Maybe asking around, doing some cool stuff. But let's go ahead and from PIL, we can import the image library and we can start to look at some of these. Let's go image1 equals image.open. And that is qr1.png, right? We'll see the same thing with image2. Uh, and let's go ahead and close these things, just so some good programming practice in here. Oh, we do need a new line at the end. Um, and let's let's get that data from it, right? Because we want to be able to loop through it. Uh, image one. Let's just call it data one equals image one dot load. Do the same thing for image two. So we'll get all of the pixels from it, and we want to be able to create a new image that will save the difference in. So we'll call that QR, right? And we're going to do image new. It needs the mode, which will be RGBA. It needs the size. So let's actually get the size of all the others. Width, height equals image one. Both of these are the same size, so it doesn't matter which I use here, image one or image two. We just got to use one of them. Size. And let's close QR as well. And let's actually just show it to see what it is right now. So, okay, so we got a black screen, we got a black blank image. Let's actually get those colors set since we'll want them. 255, 255, 255. Do the same thing for black. Let's see if I can do a quick search and replace with zero in one line. Whoa, fail. It totally would have been faster for me to just actually type this, whatever. Oh, I didn't even get multiple. Total fail. All right. And let's just make the whole background white. So now we have a full white image. Cool. Now, let's actually go through that loop, right? Let's do for i... Uh, let's go y. For y in range, length... Uh, no, we don't need length, because height and width are already, already integers, right? So now for x in range of width, now our current pixel which we can use for both, is going to be image, either 1 or 2, it doesn't really matter, X and Y. We can access all the images. So, let's do it. Let's test if, for each pixel, image 1 is equal to X, Y, is equal to the other images, X and Y. So, look, just checking, testing a difference. If they are equal, that means they're the same pixel. That means we can pretty much, in our, let's get QR's data for one thing. We haven't even done that yet. Uh, new data, let's call it qr.load. Now, qr's x and y would be equal to white in this case. Um, since it's already a white image, we've already made all of that a white background, let's just continue to go on this loop. Otherwise, if there is a difference, we're going to end up setting these to black, right? Now when we run this... Oh, I fail. What did I do wrong? If image 1... Oh, i got to use data. My bad. Data 1... And data 2. Because we're using the actual, like, pixel maps, not the image handles themselves. I'll do the same thing with data, or new data, right? 
This is already commented out. It doesn't really matter. But now when we run this, hey, we got ourselves a QR code. Now we just got to be able to scan this thing, right? So I'm going to do that with Zbar image, which is a command line thing. If you've not seen that before, uh, I'll zoom in this a little bit. You can run Zbar image, and that would give you... Uh, it's like, it, can, it can read a QR value, so it's pretty nifty. So let's actually do that in our Python script. I'm going to call subprocess. I'm going to actually use subprocess, the module, to be able to call that. So I'm going to from subprocess... I'm going to import check output, and just, that's, that's all I need for now. We don't have to show the QR code anymore, but I will just comment that out. Now we can use check output with zbar image. Actually, it's going to need a file name, right? Yeah, yeah, it needs an image file to like read out of. So let's go ahead and save this somewhere. Let's get a save name equals found... QR.png, that's fine. And let's do QR.save with that save name. So now it saves it. Zbar image, and then let's concatenate on that save name. Now when we run this, uh, no such file directory, that's a subprocess error, because this has to be actually a list of arguments. Subprocess is weird like that. Now when we run check output, scan barcode symbols from one image in 0 0.02 seconds. Whoa! Why don't we get anything? Oh, we got to actually print out the output for one thing. Cool. Let's print this out. Hey, hey, QR code 2 isn't always better than 1, and we get a flag here. Nifty. Let's trim that down. Um, let's split it as per usual. Let's get the last segment, so we'll get the flag. But all this scanned one barcode stuff I don't really want. And that looks like it's coming out of uh, standard error. So let's just redirect that somewhere else. I'm going to import pipe from subprocess. And then in my check output, I'm just going to say standard error should go to pipe. Now we just get simply the flag. And that is everything that we need. Make that executable in our shell. Get flag. Run it. And hey, that's our flag. Let's go ahead and submit that. And get a couple more points. Submit. And that's correct. 90 more points for us. Good stuff, guys. Cool. Hope you were able to follow a lot of that. Um, I, it, I did already write this code, so I ran through it a little bit before. This is the code that I written initially, and mine looks my current one looks pretty identical. Like, yeah. yeah, this is like, it's literally the same exact code that I just wrote with you. So cool. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, the Py Python image library is really, really awesome, especially for interesting CTFs like this when we're working with images and doing different things with them, scraping pixel data, stuff like that. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we got another flag. <laughs> Good stuff. And I'll see you in the next tutorial or video. Bye.